What is going on beautiful people? Hope you're having a beautiful day because I am having a beautiful day. So today's video, as I'm sure you can tell by the title, is gonna be in regards to the triceps. Now triceps, as the name implies, has three total heads. Not one, not two, but three total heads. The function of which is to extend the elbow. So that is why a tricep push down or a tricep extension is going to be the best overall exercise at lengthening and shortening the tricep. And because its main function is to extend the elbow, uh, it can be used very well in multi-jointed exercises such as presses like the bench press or the dips, which leads me on to exercise number one of the top five, and that is going to be the close grip bench press. So overall, this is a great power movement for the tricep, okay? And the reason that we're taking a closer grip as opposed to a wider one is because it allows for more elbow flexion, right? So it allows the tricep to lengthen out more and then you also get a nice contraction on the way up. Something to think about while doing this exercise is to be twisting your elbows into your sides. So on the negative portion of the movement, you want to be pushing your elbows into your sides. When you keep your elbows out here or if they're flared, you really put yourself at risk of injury within your shoulder joint. Power exercise number two is the straight bar push downs, right, with the tricep. So this is just basically what the tricep is. It's all about flexing at the elbow and then extending at the elbow. So on the stretch, you really want to let it pull the elbow the whole way up so your tricep is fully lengthened. I see a lot of people, they stop halfway and they're really limiting that amount of engagement that they could be getting within their tricep. So typically what I'm gonna do is take about one and a half steps away from the cable and then pin my elbows into my sides basically as much as humanly possible. And then all you need to think about is letting the cable pull your arms up, lengthening the tricep and then all you need to do is press down Keep your elbows still and just extend at the elbow and you'll be able to contract that tricep. Power exercise number three is going to be the dumbbell overhead extension. Now this in particular is an exercise that I found to focus a lot more on the long head of the tricep depending on how you do it. So how I typically will do it is I'll put the dumbbell overhead and then I'll try and get my elbows back as humanely possible. So I see a lot of people that do it like this you want to get them all the way back here and then it's a very short movement just like that. So this one is going to require a decent amount of shoulder mobility. So please keep that in mind. If you do have tight shoulders, you may not be able to do this to the best of your ability. Power, last but not least, exercise number four is the tricep cable kickback. So what you wanna do is set the cables down at the bottom pin. And then what you'd wanna do is bend over at about a 90 degree angle with your tricep up back in the air. And then all you need to do is let it pull your elbow forward to stretch and lengthen the tricep. And then all you need to do is extend back and up Twisting outwards as well, which is gonna place a little bit of the load on the outer head of the tricep. So the reason we're using cables as opposed to a dumbbell or kickback is it keeps constant tension, right? So on the negative portion of the movement, if you're using a dumbbell, once you get to here, it's really not on the tricep anymore, is it? It's more so on the rear delt, which is keeping it stabilized, but a cable is always gonna pull. It's always gonna be pulling it this way. So you're always gonna keep that constant tension. Pow, all right guys, so that is top for tricep exercises. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video outlining that. Obviously tricep, it's not the most extravagant movement yet. It's just to uh, flex the elbow and extend the elbow. So keep that in mind. It's not that hard to train. However, there is an absolute plethora of exercises that you could be implementing. And I do recommend you implementing more than four or at least taking those and variating them, right? So there can be a million and one variations of you know, a tricep push down. You can do it further away, you can do it uh, overhead, you can do it with a rope, you can do it uh, underhand, you can do a whole different things. And I do encourage you to experiment and switch it up every you know, four to five weeks. The reason is, Considering there's three total heads on the tricep, you wanna ensure that you're hitting all of them and developing the tricep completely, all right? Uh, again, the tricep, right? The tricep is going to make up two thirds of your arm size. So if you're struggling to grow your arms, focus less on the bicep, focus more on the tricep. Look at that meaty bit. That is, that is, that is, that's enough reason to train your triceps right there. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did learn something, please comment down below and let me know what that was. And I will just wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed watching because I enjoy making it. I'll catch you in the next one later.